Hey Realm Walkers! Nightingale has been updated to version 0.2.1, which sees a whole lot of fixes that were introduced in the previous version. I've added a link to the changelog in the description below, should you wish to read it yourself. Otherwise, let's get into it. Up first are a number of art and visual changes, which include a number of new icons and blood visual effects for combat. Desna Velavani's dialogue has been updated with a Nightingale logo. She's the NPC that offers you the blunderbuss close to the beginning of a new game. There is also a change to realm cards, which change the crafting yields of the settler cards. And the button recipe now only creates one rather than two. Now on to the bigger portion of this update, the bug fixes. Perhaps the biggest bug fix is the disconnect that numerous players were seeing when they were crafting large stacks of materials. These disconnects should now be a thing of the past. Fingers crossed. And it seems that there was a crash involving fights with scorpions, though I personally never experienced this. Probably because I don't really fight scorpions, they're kind of annoying. They've also temporarily disabled shockwaves, like its ability to destroy structures, because there's some bug where it destroys things that's out of its range. Most likely that'll come back once they figure out how to fix this problem. And also, many ore nodes that were previously muted black or just plain bland are now fixed and nodes are colorful again. Another crafting issue was that picking them up would result in sound effects stacking on top of each other. One player referred to this as the crafting station farting, <laughs> though it honestly sounded more violent than that, like bean burrito violent. Players can now rebind the tool sheathing key, which is by default H. And a really nice fix is that Eodens don't immediately aggro on passing players. Can't tell you how many times I've just been running around and these guys just uproot themselves to chase after me. It's like, chill dude. One bug fix that I'm really happy about is that environmental resistance now works. Hopefully getting too hot or cold or wet isn't going to be an issue now. And it seems that starving players weren't getting incapacitated. Good to see that's fixed, so stay fed people. Watering cans can now be filled at rain barrels with the right mouse button. Previously, only the E button worked, although even though you could use the right mouse button on any other water source, like the ocean, glad to see it normalized. There is also an issue of being hungry and stats not piling on, good to see that's worked out because I'm sure that was a pain for quite a few. Another big bug fix that I'm really glad to see is that estate address cards now work. Previously they would show up blank or just had various problems, and they certainly didn't fire off when you placed in portals. So this ought to allow groups to get together and build the community realms again. There's also a fix regarding the QUI sticking around, like if you moused away it would still show up on, on your screen. Although they specifically mentioned the smelter, I also noticed that this problem was with the mortar and the stove, and hopefully this also fixed those instances. The add fuel text has also been localized, which means it should now appear properly in different languages. And finally, they fixed a memory leak when harvesting too much stuff. I think these are all great fixes and changes, even though there's still quite a few more things to do. It's a good step in the right direction. But what do you all think? Were these good changes? Bad changes? Was there anything that you wanted to see fixed but they haven't done it yet? Let us know in the comments below. Regardless, I'll see you out in the Feywild. Peace.